Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Football Game. Football Game is a surreal horror adventure game from the creators of A Date in the Park. It starts a football player having a completely normal night. Must have had hell of a night. First, to turn off this alarm, because it's making me crazy. Those beers were strong. I dozed off. I need to get ready to meet Susie. I better get rid of those bottles before Mom sees them. Left click to interact with Tommy's world, right click on things to observe Tommy's world. Inventory items can be seen moving your mouse to the top of the screen, some items can be combined. Normal. My drinking this afternoon got a little off hand. I get nervous before big games. Screen up the bottles, got hide that. That's my underwear drawer. I don't need to change them. That's what you think. Purchase County Turbines, my team. Go Turbines! These are all photos of Susie and I. This one is my favorite. Oh yeah, it's amazing. I can really tell of the, the quality of that photograph from the pixels. It's Susie and I at Trim and Dam Lake, or a special spot. We've had a lot of good times there. Susie's friend Norma took this picture. The post my favorite band, Jupiter C, who composed music for this game. I got this trophy for being best quarterback in the league last season. I don't want to change clothes. I'm happy with the guy, what I've got on. My Purchase County High jacket looks slick. <laughs> he has old toys. Just more clothes in there. I need to go digging around. The batteries are dead. There's just trash in here. Like my soul. So I just, do I just throw the bottles in the trash can? Surely she won't check the trash can for empty bottles. I need a shave. Susie hates it when I have stubble on my face. Man, Susie sucks. Now it's not the time for a bath, as much as I would like one. Shaving razor. Mmm, dry shaven. Look at that nice, torn up skin. Let's see the area in the photo. You're tickling my face, Tommy. Be nice and shave next time, please. I'm sorry, Susie. It's just that, well, I am a man after all. <laughs> You're a boy. A sneaky boy doesn't know how to look after himself. But you love me. Well... I do love you. This is... The past one. Just got that Chivo. So the description of the game says kind of David Lynchian kind of horror. So I'm I'm curious if there's gonna be a twist to this. I'm not gonna go dragging this plan around. Mom wouldn't be happy with me. 
So let's go upstairs. Actually, there was a kitchen right there. Let's check that out. Looking empty tonight. Some cheese, some milk, some ham. Nothing exciting. Start to mom. Hey, mom. Hi, darling. Did you have a good nap? Well, sure, mom. Say, you're looking nice. You shaved. You must be making an effort for somebody. Don't be silly, mom. I'm just heading off to the game. The game of life. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Your dad's gonna be home soon. He'll need the car. Mom. Is that alcohol I smell in your breath? No. No, Mom. Er, no, Mom. Tommy, darling, we've been through this. But I didn't drink a thing. Now, I know that's not true. I will drink when I want. I won't do it again. She's not gonna take that. She'll be like, you've done this 20 times. I won't do it again. You tell that to your dad. So, I can't take the car? What do you think, sunshine? You're not going to the game. Oops, I can click through that. Mom, you heard me. Now let me get on with these dishes. Then you get to the game. Susie's waiting for me. Looks like I'll have to improvise. There's a picture of Buman Park. It's fine where it is. So you don't want to go into her bathroom, but we can probably go into her bedroom. Mom's door is locked. I don't know why. Mom wants a plans in the house to stay out of it. Let's see if we can find... Maybe a key? Where is the front door, anyway? Well, well, here's the living room. This is... I'm not hungry. I lose my appetite before big games. Susie and I spent a lot of time sitting here watching old flicks. We love those old horrors from the 1930s. Wolfman is our favorite. My favorite is... Dracula. Though the Ape Man comes a close second. Television. I see someone's watching Doctor Strange Love. Jacket. What do we have in here? It's the key for a car. Car keys. Hey, mister, don't even think about it. We need to run distraction of mom. Hey, mom. How was your day? Would you like me to help with the dishes? Let me help with the dishes? It's okay, hon. I'll be finished soon. Then I'm gonna put my feet up. Well, I can't say I didn't ask. I need to get to the game. Tommy, let it go. You're not leaving this house. Mom! That's the end of it. How was your day? Oh, alright. Let's chat later, hon. I want to get these done, okay? Sure, Mom. Talk later. So we need to distract the mom somehow, maybe. Or we could just put, pull a rebellious move and just leave anyway. But it seems like our guy's not that type. Old photos of me with mom and dad. They look happy together. Kettle. Kale is in process of boiling. We got cans, box, tea. Taking a tea bag. It's herbal tea, mom's favorite. Kale is boiling. It's ready to make a souvenir tea. 
She put the tea bag into the cup or something rather than the kettle. Where do we have the cups? Mom. I put the tea bag into the mug. I made a steaming hot tea. Here you go, Mom. You should take a rest. Yeah, that's right. Distraction tea. Oh, darling, my favorite mug. A nice warm tea. You really are the best, Tommy. I love you. You manage to do simple tasks that someone should be expected to do anyway, occasionally. I love you too, Mom. I'm gonna sit down for a minute. Now, can we leave? Yeah, she's distracted. Letterbox? There's nothing in there. Mom must have got the post already this morning. The car's parked up on the street. Looks like that's a dead end right there. Kate. I need to get to the game. Ah, oh, God, I forget. Susie's gift. I think I left it under my bed. Well, you're bad at this. My mom's gonna be doing that tea by the time you're done here. Close. Ball. Thank you. Bag. Nothing. Useless. Unless the ball is the gift. I mean, not exactly romantic. I don't understand. I'm sure I hit the box here earlier. Mom. Mom. She must have found it. I bet it's in her room. Complications, complications. Hey, Mom. How was your tea? Sleep, Mom? She drifted off into a daze. I worry about her. Well, her room was locked before, so... There must be another way I can get into a room. I know Susie's gift will be in there somewhere. The chance of mom putting Susie's gift somewhere in here in the bathroom is pretty slim. I'm only in bed, it's in her bedroom. Let's check something out. Another memory? Boy, Tommy. It's a wreck. I know. Dad keeps saying he's going to fix it. I guess I'm too old for tree houses anyway. Are you hot, Tommy? I think the fun we could have in there. Susie Cooper, you are my girl. You know it. Dad, come fix the tree house, please. <laughs> Never memory. Hey, Toby. Toby here, boy. Dog? He must be sleeping, lazy little guy. I can't reach the window from here. I'm not Stretch Armstrong. You look kinda like him. I can't reach it from down here. There's no way I can come up this trunk. It's too wide and smooth. Can't reach the pipe from down here.
We need to get up here somehow. Used to be an old ladder here, not anymore. They used to come up when I was a kid. They used to get so pissed off with me that I saw the pipe in half so I couldn't reach it from the ground. The he saw it, rather. Mom ties Toby's leech to this sometimes. It's super heavy. We need something from inside the house or the garage. Rope. Hmm. You never have enough rope. A hammer. Dad's old hammer. Could be useful. The shelves are full. What was it? Shelves are full of old carpentry manuals, paint, and other odds and ends. Nothing useful. What are these boxes? Useless to me. So what can we do with the rope? Hammer? I keep feeling that concrete block is going to be used for something. Hmm, there's an idea there. Branch. There we go. Now we can finally pick up the concrete block. Push. Come on now, it's just a concrete block, it ain't that heavy. Tie the rope to the concrete block. It should support my weight now. Window is shuttered tail tight. If I did this one inside, I was too old to play in the tree houses. Take off the shutters. Easy, I can get to the pipe now. Mm, this could work. I used to always come up to the roof when I was a little kid. Hopefully I'm not too big now. Hopefully it's not gonna break on you. This is a pretty elaborate... ...way just to get like... Well, I suppose the gift is pretty important. Mirror. Make interesting here. Photograph. Hey. What's this doing in here? Mom loves reading. Don't have time for it. Let's save that for school. Mom's bed. There's nothing underneath. Which would be actually in the bathroom. Oh yeah, lower drawer. Top drawer, it's here. Now we can leave. So far, it doesn't seem really much ominous. Or anything like really quirky. Seems like a fairly normal. Oh, okay, I have to like a manual unlock it. No problem. Right, let's get some music on. Blue.
Ah, yes, cassettes. Poster. It's advertisement for football equipment. See Bobby Vapors live at Shiner's Bar. Some sort of concert promo. It's an advertisement. Come relax in your very own cabin at Lake Kublis. Family deals available. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Rex. Haven't seen you around here for a while. Wouldn't miss the big game. Teen Susie? Susie Cooper? Yeah. Not tonight. You two still going steady? You bet. You lucky son of a bitch. I'm wondering if something happened to Susie. He just doesn't know, like he's blocked out of his memory. So does chocolate bars, chips, nothing healthy. Most things cost a quarter. Outrageous. Have you seen Susie Cooper around here tonight? N no, I, I haven't seen her. You sure? I'm sure. I heard you two used to be make out under the cutie pies. Bomb. What was that? Excuse me, have you seen Susie here tonight? Uh, no. Shannon. Sorry to interrupt, have you seen Susie around? Tonight? Yeah, I'm looking for her. Why? Haven't seen her since school last week. Mmm, see. She said her parents were going to go out of town for a few days. I'm surprised she's not having a party. If my parents were out of town, I would for the raddest party. You're not invited, Tommy. Sorry. You suck. You don't have the good Pokemon cards. Mmm. Locked. Excuse me, Mr. Mahoney? Yes. Have you seen Susie Cooper tonight? Susie Cooper? Susie Cooper? Can you kids keep track of one another? It's just that I'm supposed to be meeting her here tonight. Well, keep looking. I'm afraid I have not seen the girl. Thanks, Mr. Mahoney. Thanks for what? He just said to keep looking. Hey, Tommy, are you sure you should be here? Huh? Yeah, what? Shouldn't even be here. Kevin. Kevin! Oh, hi, Tommy. Long time no see. Have you seen Susie around? Susie, you still going out with her? Yeah, you seen her? Sorry, dude. No sign. She's hard to miss. Why don't you ask Scott? Yeah, this is a little weird. Hey, Steve. You seen Susie around? Sorry, Tommy. I haven't seen her. Cheerleader, have you seen Susie around? Nope, we're just gonna stare at your pixels for a little while. As they awkwardly sway back and forth. That was a thing. Now, Tommy, don't be anxious. I, I just need to keep a clear head. After what happened. Come on, he'd be proud of you, leading the team. And Coach Funkhouse is relying on you. It, it's just been a while. Hey, you know what? What? You're my hero. These Lutu lovebirds are all over each other. Hmm. Danger, high voltage. Unit. Firmly attached. And the cheerleader is gone. Oh no, what if that was... The ghost of Susie. Extractor fan. What am I even accomplishing here?
I've walked in a circle around the entire ground. Can't find Susie anywhere. I want to give her this before the game starts. You think he would realize if he hasn't she hasn't been going to school for a week, something's up. So I'm wondering, like, what's the twist here? Maybe Jesse knows? Hi, oh, Tommy. Hey, Jesse, have you seen Susie tonight? Susie Cooper? Of course, my Susie. I saw her just now. Really, where did she go? Hmm, I'll tell you. Go on. But first, I'd like you to do me a little favor. Then I'll tell you exactly where she is. Are you kidding? Just tell me, Jesse. Are you going to do me a favor or not? I might just punch you in the face. Oh well, it's a bunch of game. Tommy, Tommy, I know you want to see your girl. I can tell you where she is. Just tell me, this is ridiculous. Hell, I'll go find her myself. Good luck with that, Tom. Remember, I know exactly where she is. And who she is with, for that matter. That, that's a little ominous. Alright. Okay. Good, good, I'll get you your gal. But first, a little favor for your pal, Jesse. Jesus, Jesse, just get on with it. You know Todd? Todd Masters? The very man, the very douche. What's the do with Todd Masters? The old teammate ran me out to Principal Michaels last week, said I was selling booze to freshmen. And yeah, were you? Besides the point, I need my revenge. My wrist is still aching from writing all those lines of detention. But it's not the only thing a wrist is aching from. See, that's the kind of humor I expect from jocks like Todd, not Mr. MVP Superstar Purchase County Tommy Taylor. Sorry, Jesse. You send him up and I hit him out of the park. Leave your stupid comments in your pocket next time. Anyway, I want you to go get me a little Todd's Lucky Charm. It's in the same photo, you win. Okay. Good choice, it'll be a piece of cake. So we want me to get... Todd's signed photo of football legend Goldie Coleman. His Lucky Charm. Where can I find the photo? Todd keeps it in his locker, in the changing rooms. You can just go in and get it. Hmm. Can okay, at least have a clue where Susie went. Bye for now. So look at these extractor fan doors. Door to the changing rooms? Not allowed. But no butts now scram. Hmm. Talk to this boy, hey there. Hey, one of your phone Okay. Jerk. I see someone is not popular. Oh, there's people here now. Hey. What do you want? Uh, have you guys seen Susie Cooper? We don't want to be in here with our friends. I don't know who Susie Cooper, man. She's one of the popular girls. I ain't seen her. Who are you? Tommy Taylor? The Tommy Taylor? Yeah. Surprised to see you here after everything that I've heard. You got any cigarettes? No. Then just smoke the whole fucking packet. Screw you. Dang teenagers in their annoying callous attitude. Yeah, this one's open now. A quarter. I can get a snack. And I can trade that snack on eBay for 50 cents. And then I can trade that 50 cents 
for a better snack, which I'll sell on eBay for 75 cents, and we just keep doing this till we get a new car. And then we sell the car, the car to this guy, and then go let us in, and that's how we're gonna solve this problem. I think I'll get a soda. Or maybe we just shake it up and just hand it to him, he's like, in his face. Hey man, you deserve soda. So you can't go in the changing rooms, please. We need to get in there. But I need to get in there. Call your jets, Tommy. You're not allowed in here, it's not rocket science. Why are you going in the door? The changing rooms are for players only tonight, you know that. But, I want you flunk our house's orders. Besides, I want to keep an eye on you, reef smokers. I don't smoke, sir. Well, that's a plus for you. I think more than the sense of cigarette smoke. Who would have cigarettes? It's a girl here. Hi. You seen Susie Cooper? I'm looking for. Her. Do I know you? No. Have you seen Susie Cooper? No. Get lost, creep. Jesus. Jeff and a boy. Maybe Jeff has got something for me. Hey, Jeff. Cough. Jeez, Tommy. Start a cough in your face. You okay? Smoked way too much last time. My fruit was on fire. Oh, you have cigarettes. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a long time. How's things? Oh, fine. Are you looking better? You smoke? Yeah, a bit too much. What do you buy your cigarettes? Oh, I know a guy. He stood right over there. Rex sells your cigarettes? No, not Rex. Over there, leaning against the wall, black jacket. Oh, that guy. He seems like a complete jerk. His name is Danny, and he's a scary bastard. But he always has a pack of three on offer. Maybe we'll get him a Coke. You know when you're in a venture game, when you get into bartering the old-fashioned way? I don't want your crap. Hey, I heard you sell cigarettes. Twenty bucks. Rip off. Twenty bucks. You ever take that or you shove it where the sun don't shine? Can we just fight him? Rex, give me some money. You, give me some money. You, guy, give me some money. Since he's a Cooper? No. Man, I need to find her. Why? She's my girl, I have a gift for her. Sounds like someone's in love. Maybe she's off parking some other dude. Hey, no, don't you dare say that. Just Josh you, dude, chill out. Cars locked if he first is the 80s after all. <laughs> Maybe I should go check Susie's house. Perhaps she's still there. Hmm. New item tape. Oh, and 20 bucks. Well, let's go to Susie's house. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. No sound alive. That's not good. Susie? Hello, is anyone home? There's vague implications going on, and I need to confirm them, Susie. Susie. home.
Hmm. Well, this doesn't seem to... Oh, the cutscene. I'm sorry. I just need a little bit of time, okay? But Susie, I love you. You can't do this. Please, Tommy. Let it go. I guess we went back to the football game with my 20 bucks. Well, I guess I should head back to the game. She has to be there. So then I have 20 bucks. We've gone to the house and checked her out. She's not there. Here's the money. Oh god, $20 is a lot, especially in this era. Here's a 20. Well, looky here. One pack right here for you, pretty boy. Y'all don't come back now, you hear? Like, what's your problem? You're selling cigarettes. You guys feel so high and mighty, you got some cigarettes? Give him the cigarettes. Here. Wow, Tommy. You're giving us the whole pack? Go for it. You're not so bad after all. It's a shame Linda lost the lighter. For all, man, let it go. We got cigarettes, but no lighter. What a conundrum. Now what do I do? Hey, you got a lighter? Got a light? A light? I never smoked in my life. But you have no trouble selling alcohol to us? What's that? Nothing. The one who probably has it is actually the guy who, uh... It's a chronic smoker. Why do not have it? It's just like one of those obvious ones. Do you have a lighter? I do. Can I borrow it? Trade you for it? Can I just borrow it? No, it's an adventure game. Tommy, this is a nice lighter. Trade me something and I'll let you borrow it. Well, what do you want? A soda? Surprise me. For fuck's sake, I'm getting tired of running errands and trading favors. Why can't you just let me borrow it? If I give you the soda, will you let me borrow the liner? You bet. It's just what I need. Still not exactly sure the goal of... I guess we get in the smoke, and then he, like, freaks out and runs over. And it's like, You kids are smoking! Let me be distracted! So he can get in the door. Here's your lighter. Mm, look at that first... First person view. Hey man, there's people like smoking over there. There are kids smoking under the bleachers. What? We here? Oh, we gotta turn on the fans. Oh, we just had to hit buttons this entire time. Don't need batteries. So then I go to the other one, which probably has good batteries. Then go back to this one. 
which has no batteries. Beautiful. All right, we're going in. Coach Funkhauser's office. Specifically that alone. Shouldn't touch that. I'm not sure taking Coach Funkhauser's coach there is going to be any good. Falling cabinets locked tight. Locked. Key. Documents. Cabinets. Seems fallen. He's working on his fitness, locker room number one. Wise guy, fierce tackler, number clue number three. Bullying tendencies, be strict on him. Elder brother Joseph was part of all state champ team back in 76. Todd idolizes his brother. See Nathaniel, future star. Good tactical player. Lean throwing arm. What happened? Why is he not playing in the game? Smoke coming from this toilet is disgusting. Did someone die in there? Can't wash away my sins. Apparently we're trying really hard to wash away my sins because we're stuck here. Oh, here we go. It's number one. Number four. I think the file had the information for it. September 12th, that's tonight. A shower after a game. On the crew. Moon hit station 1027 FM. 10 year anniversary ball of Purchase County Turbines, All State Champions 1976. Join us on June 6, 1986 to celebrate. I was the only Thai kid at the time, I remember the scenes. East Bend has never seen such a huge victory parade. This is probably it. All State Champions 1976. So June 6, 1976. So we'll try 1976 first, just in case. No, so 76. June 6? Yeah, 6676. Get that. Frame picture. And I think that's the only other thing we need. Here. Here it is. Yeah. Thanks, Tommy. So you can tell me where Susie is? Right here. 
What? Right there. Behind you. That's a little weird. Is this some kind of joke? Hey, I'm the man, my word. She just threw that door. All the cool kids hang out there these days. I saw her go in. The whole time she's been right there. What the fuck you just told me? Don't shoot the messenger, Tom and Tom. It's locked, you liar. Tommy, this is a special knock. Do it like knock, 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 big knock. Uh, if you're sick, Jesse, she better be in there. I'm losing my patience. Is there a twist? Or is it really just gonna be like she's just hanging out? Come in. Oh god, this is her cult. She's not here. Susie? Tommy, what are you doing here? I I'm looking for Susie. Whoa. I just, I... I feel bad for him. He's been through a lot. Well, yes, babe, that may be the case. That doesn't justify what he did to the team. You can't let him call you anymore. We're together now. What the fuck are you doing here? Why are you looking for Susie? I... What did he even do to the team? Oh god, there's something in the back of the trunk or something. What is happening? I just want to go to my room. Mom's gone. Wardrobe? What are you doing with that? This has gone too far, Tommy. You need to stop this now. What? What? What is going on? Trim and damn lake. Facts and figures. The lake. You only bought her a ring? Or are you just a gift? Hello. Hello, young man. How can I help you today? I'd like to buy a piece of jewelry for my girlfriend. Sir, are you in the right place? How much money are you looking to spend today? I have a hundred bucks. I've been saving for months. Well, she must be a very special girl. She's in the lake, isn't she? We have some beautiful rings and necklaces. Feel free to have a browse and don't hesitate to ask me any questions. All kinds of rings. Gold, silver, diamonds are very expensive. Not quite what I am for Susie. S. Like for Susie? That's the one. Susie will love it. Excuse me? How can I help? How much is an S neck? How much is the S necklace? Ah, that's from the Amore series. A lovely choice, sure to please your sweetheart. It's eighty nine ninety nine. We take cash or check. I'll take it.
I have something for you. Oh, Tommy, what is it? Here. Look, he gave her the gift, and why does she still have it? But then maybe she rejected it. Has he just been assuming that they've been boyfriend and girlfriend? Looks weird, I don't want to talk to him. Tommy, what are you doing here? No, she's alright. What do you mean? I've come to see you. But, but I asked you to leave me alone. I don't understand. You're still wearing the necklace. I love you, Susie. Why do you look at me this way? Tommy, please. The necklace is there. I'm gonna need to think about this. This plot line, what it meant. Okay, so that's it for football game. Trying to put the plot together in my head. I could see when the David Lynch thing kind of came in. Especially towards the end right there with that ending. So, we have a couple of factors here. We have the gift. So, and one towards the end, she's wearing the necklace. But we also see he still has the necklace and the box. And the mom had it in another room. So that doesn't make sense there. Unless two people bought her the same necklace, coincidentally. The other thing is that she's dating somebody else. Whether or how long, we don't know. We know that there was possibly a form of a breakup. And that the football team is no longer playing on it for some reason. So, the mom had a gift and a picture of Susie and him up in her room, that, which is a little bit odd. And it also focused on a shot of a... I'm assuming it's the beer. It's kind of colored red, like blood. But that wouldn't make quite sense. So maybe it's some kind of post-death dream where he's passed out drunk still and he's reconstituted memories to where he's given her a necklace. That's when I'm, I'm, I'm kind of... It's some kind of self-delusion. The very minimum. Whether it's a post-death self-delusion or a current life but drunk kind of delusion, I'm not sure. But Susie was still alive, I think. I said that she hadn't seen her for a week. But, hmm. As I said, there's, there's a lot of ways you can take this plot. Maybe maybe certain scenes are not or organized also. That could be a possibility. But I'm going to say maybe drank himself to death. Or he's just that self-delusioned that this is how he views the world now. Kind of one of the two. I'd have to think about it a little bit. This is a plot that really threw my mind for a loop towards the end there. But anyway. So, it played a bit like their previous game, uh, Day in the Park. I think I like Day in the Park a little bit better. Just because I'm particularly not a fan of Fetch Quest adventure game puzzles, Day in the Park did have the traditional adventure game puzzle where you grab the items everywhere and you go back and forth. But, um, it felt a little bit less tedious than this one. And some of the Lynchian atmosphere could have come out a little bit earlier. It doesn't appear towards till about the middle part of the game. That's what I would say. Except for that, you know, it was an interesting little story. 
one that's gonna leave me a little bit confused for quite some time. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play football game. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.